Hello, my name is Roger Black. Since retiring from the world of athletics, I spend my time really doing two things. I'm better known for presenting the athletics for the BBC, but my real passion is motivational speaking. Over the years, I've delivered presentations to many companies and organisations throughout Great Britain. I really believe in motivation. I think it's the state of mind that we apply to what we're doing in life that really makes the difference. And I talk about how to be a champion, the fundamentals of success that all champions in the world of sport have. I address many, many things through my presentations, but there are two things in particular that I think are very relevant to people in business. One of those is dealing with change, and the other one is teamwork. I was lucky. I knew what it was like to succeed as an individual, but also as part of a very successful team. Anyway, it's not for me to talk about it. Here's a little taster of one of my presentations. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, and thank you for your creative team there for that, that wonderful introduction. Anyway, it's a pleasure to be here this afternoon. I was asked to come along here this afternoon to deliver a motivational presentation. I think most of us in this room accept that motivation is a, is a very tricky subject because different people get motivated in different ways. And what I would like to do over the next half an hour or so is really just share with you uh, just some of the things that I learned throughout my athletic career that allow me not only to run fast, but more importantly in my case, to have my greatest day pretty much towards the end of my career at the 1996 Olympic Games in Atlanta, where I managed to win a silver medal in the 400 metres. I don't think it's a, a coincidence that the Olympic Games begins with the lighting of a flame. I think we all have a flame inside of us. When things are going really well, when you're winning Olympic medals, when you're getting paid loads of money and everybody loves you, uh, that flame will burn so brightly, life is great, life is easy. But there are times when that flame barely flickers. The temptation will always be there to put that flame out. Most people want to win. If you ask an athlete, do you want to win an Olympic medal? Most people want to. The champions in the world of sport need to. And different people have different needs. More athletes have underperformed out of fear of failure than any other emotion. You see, the thing about fear is fear is a great motivator. You can run really fast when you are scared. If you ask an athlete what it feels like when they stand behind the line ready to run a big race, they will talk to you about fear. The champions in the world of sport really do believe that there is no such thing as failure. They accept there will be defeats, they accept there will be setbacks, but they almost see them as opportunities, opportunities to learn, opportunities to grow. From my experience, if you have no fear of failure, it doesn't matter enough. You just don't want to have too much of it. And the single greatest asset that we have at our disposal is the relationship with our training partners. People who have the same dreams, the same goals, the same hopes, the same aspirations. People who want to go the same places and do the same things. You see, synergy is a very powerful belief. It's the belief that one plus one does not have to equal two. That if you meet the right person, one plus one can equal three, four, or maybe more. Look around this room and find one person to synergize with. You'll achieve so much more than if you try and do it on your own. Find a group of people, you'll be unstoppable. And the American is beaten. And he's fighting back. Akabusi has made it. Akabusi, gold for Britain. America second. And Jamaica third. I personally believe that if you stand behind that line with a burning desire to reach your full potential, if you stand behind that line with a high need for achievement and a low fear of failure, if you stand behind that line and you're focusing on running your perfect race and you stand behind that line and you've trained hard and you've experienced synergy along the way, I think the chances are, the chances are you're going to deliver. There are many sayings in the world of sport. There's a saying in my sport that says you're only as good as your last race. I think a champion recognises the folly of that statement. I think a champion just, just has to accept that the good times don't last forever. But fortunately, neither do the bad times. For most people, it tends to go like this. This is my Olympic gold medal. Uh, now, I know it looks silver to all of you, but, but this really is my Olympic gold medal. Uh, as you can imagine, these medals mean a lot to me. Uh, in many ways, they define me. But there's something I found out in the last five years, is they mean quite a lot to certain members of the British public. And if any of you have wanted to see an Olympic medal, to touch an Olympic medal, or just to quite simply have an Olympic medal put around your neck, then now's your chance. Thank you very much.